Mr. Emmer is now recognized for five minutes. Thank you, uh, Chairman McHenry. I'm proud to have this nonpartisan bill, the Blockchain Regulatory Certainty Act, included in this markup today. I've been working on this legislation for the past four Congresses, and I'd like to thank my friend Darren Soto from Florida for co-leading this effort with us. The bill is simple. It codifies long-standing guidance from the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network within Treasury, FinCEN, on how the money transmission framework applies to the decentralized blockchain space. The money transmission licensing framework in the United States is a state-by-state -state framework requiring more than 50 state and territorial licenses, as well as federal registration with FinCEN. Of course, money transmission licensing laws are designed to protect consumers from the risk of loss of assets, a risk presented when transmitters, money transmitters, and other intermediaries, intermediaries actually take control of consumer funds. However, with state regulations varying on what type of blockchain-related entities qualify as money transmitters, major discrepancies in the state-by-state -state framework create uncertainty for providers who never have custody of, cons of customer funds and, in fact, even provide extra layers of protection for the very consumers that money transmitter laws are designed to protect. To provide a solution, the Blockchain Regulatory Certainty Act codifies existing FinCEN guidance to affirm that non-custodial blockchain developers and service providers, like miners, validators, and wallet providers, that never custody consumer funds do not have to register as a money transmitter. This guidance was published in 2013 under the Obama administration. It was republished in 2019 under the Trump administration, and it remains the guidance FinCEN follows today under the Biden administration. Codifying this guidance from FinCEN cements in statute a well-agreed-upon interpretation of how money transmitter laws are applied to the decentralized blockchain ecosystem, which will allow the next iteration of the Internet to be designed by Americans with American values. The markup today and the markup tomorrow in this committee are focused on providing regulatory certainty for the digital asset ecosystem as a new emerging innovation that has the potential to redesign the digital economy and provide the economic boom the United States needs to climb out of our $32 trillion national debt. Guidance is not as concrete as statute. Statute gives certainty. Guidance can change at the political whim of a new administration. Fortunately, that has not been the case with this FinCEN guidance, but we need to give this industry certainty in the form of statutes if we're going to stand a chance in developing the next iteration of the Internet and the digital economy so that it reflects our values, American values. Again, thank you, Chairman McHenry, for holding this markup today. Thank you again to my friend Darren Soto for his continued nonpartisan collaboration with us on this bill and other digital asset legislation. I'd also like to rank, uh, recognize Ranking Member Waters and her staff for their open dialogue with our office on this bill in the days prior to this markup. I understand the time constraints haven't allowed for committee Democrats to gather feedback from the Treasury, but I appreciate your team's attention to the bill, and I'd like to offer to work with you and your team once this bill passes out of committee to make alterations you uh, need so that we can continue to move this legislation forward uh, in the nonpartisan fashion it is being offered. And I yield back the balance. Uh, well, gentlemen, yield? Yes, to the chair. Uh, I'd like to thank the, the member for his leadership on this bill, um, this bipartisan bill with, uh, between he and Mr. Soto. Um, when the infrastructure bill passed last Congress, I think all of us heard from market participants about the overly broad language and what it can, how it can impact blockchain technology generally. Uh, but let's go back in time. Uh, from the moment uh, he came to co my colleague came to Congress, uh, he was a committed advocate for a regulatory, smart regulatory pathway for digital assets. He's an OG to this space um, and has been, since I've known him, even before a member of, as being a co member of Congress, he's been a, a leader in this space. Uh, we are at the culmination of years of work that he has been about in a piece of legislation uh, that is the culmination of his work. Others have 
uh, joined along the way. M Mr. Davidson certainly has, uh, Mr. Mr. Hill, uh, Ms. Waters. Uh, but I know the OG in this space is Tom Emmer, and I want to thank you for your leadership, not just on the market structure bill and, and this important bill, but generally speaking for digital assets. Thank you for yielding the time. And um, Thank you, and I yield back. Gentleman yields back.